Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 520. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 516 to 523. In this video, I want to look at the difference between the find function and the search function. Very similar functions. They both, if we say, hey, look for the letter A, they can say one, two, three. It's a third character in. Find is case sensitive. Search is not. Find cannot deal with wild cards. Search can. So let's go ahead and look at some examples. Equals find. And I'm going to notice something. Um, equals F I N. So if you're using the drop down and then tab, it takes three characters to get to find. That'll come in handy later. We'll, we'll uh, talk about that later. But anyway, find text. We want to find this letter A, and that's a capital letter A, comma, within this text right here. Starting number, uh, we're not going to do that right now. We'll just find out that's three. Now, copy, and I'm going to paste it here, and then I'm going to double click and change this to search. Notice it only takes me one character to find search. That will uh, come in handy later when uh, these, t in some situations, these two will be interchangeable, so it's actually technically faster to get to search. Other times when you're using wildcards or case uh, matters, or there's a difference in case, then you have to choose one or another. But in the situations where you can choose one or the other, I like search because it takes one character and then tab. All right, so the fact that this letter is capital and it's um, this is capital, both of them find it. If I copy these down, though, however, now it's looking at uh, a little a, search will find it because search doesn't matter about case. An A is an A, but find absolutely cares and says I cannot find it value error. Now what about the second occurrence? Let's uh, go ahead and copy these down. Boop. And now I'm going to come here, comma, and the start number. Now start number, well what if I want to find the first one and then tell me where the second one is? Well I'm going to do a second find and uh, the find text is going to be the A comma within this text right here. Right now all this is going to do, if I don't put a, the third argument here, it'll just find the first one which will be 1, which means that'll be the starting position for this first find, right? The starting position, boom, and then it can go on looking until it finds the next one. All right, so control enter. plus one. And now it will find eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, uh, and then we could do the same thing here except for um, control V and I'm going to change this to search tab. Double click S tab. How about there? And so the search. Oh yeah, but, well it Either one of these will find them because they're looking for capital. But of course, when we copy it down, the uh, find won't find it because it's case sensitive. It says, no, I can't find that. Now, what about wild cards? Wild cards equals find. Find can handle wild cards. The find text, I want to say in double quotes, asterisk math, in double quote, comma within this. Now, this is odd. I've actually never seen a use for this. However, I can imagine a situation. What it means is any, that's a wild card. It means as many, one or more characters. So when you put it next to math, it means it's going to find math and all of these characters too. So it will consider it one. Well, of course, this is not going to work because find. I'll copy find, can't find it, but of course search can. So search can deal with uh, wild cards. So those are the main uh, two differences. If I copy this down here, okay, so we saw that uh, their find uh, is case sensitive, search is not. Search can deal with wild cards, find cannot, and they both can find the first, second, or third occurrence. Now, what about some uses for? find and search. What if we're trying to extract the first name here? 
Well, we could use find or search to find that space, right, and subtract one, and that will tell us how many characters from the left to go. So equals left, and here's the text, comma, and here's where uh, we can choose either one, right, because the space doesn't have a case. So fin tab, and then the text to find will be a double quote, space, double quote, comma, within this. And then I need to go back, because if I'm extracting from the left, I don't want to extract the space, so I'm going to say minus 1. All right, the same exact formula equals left, tab, this text right here, the number of characters, I love it, s tab, find text, space, comma, within this one right here, minus 1. All right, so that's an example where either one, because um, the space is not case sensitive, I like search better. I'm having this terrible trouble with 2010 not showing when I do center across selection like that. Hmm. All right, now here's a great use for uh, either, I'm going to use search because we're not worried. About, well, we'll use both and see that case sensitive does matter sometimes, but we want to do a fuzzy match lookup. In essence, here's what I want to do. I want to look up the word math over here, and if it finds math anywhere, here or here, I want to say yes, there's a math class. So I'm typing in math, math, or counting, or 214, and I just want to be able to search through this list of classes and do, an, in essence, a partial lookup. 214, well, 214's in this text string, so I want it to return a true. First, let's look at search, equals search, tab. The text I want to find, comma, that's the text I want to find, that math, within this. Well, in our last examples, we did a single uh, cell, but we're going to do an array of values right here, which means, boom, we're putting an array of values into an argument that's expecting a single value, so this becomes an array. Close parentheses. Now, watch this. If I hit uh, highlight it and hit F9, I can see it returns an array of either errors, which means it couldn't find math there, there, math. Found it there 1 and 12 there, because those are positions. So how can we, from this array, get a true or false, Control Z? Well, we can do lookup, Look up what? Well, some big number because this part right here is an array, right? So if we can get look up, if, if there's a number anywhere here, it'll automatically uh, find it and return it, Control Z. So I'm just going to use uh, the maximum number of characters in a cell plus 1, 2 caret 15. Right, because these are te these are talking about text strings here. The maximum number of characters since search is returning the position. Right, the max is 215. So automatically, this will find the last one. Come, no matter how big it um, it is. Now, um, the nice thing about lookup is this lookup vector right here will actually um, serve as the lookup value and the return. So right now it'll return 12, because 2 to the 15th is the biggest one. It finds that 12. And lookup can handle this array without Control-Shift-Enter. So if I Control-Enter, you can see it returns 12. Now, what can we do to that? Is number. And I'm just saying, is there a math class over there? Yes. So I can Control Enter. No Control Shift Enter. Now I'm going to uh, scoop this out here, put this in the search column. And now I'm going to change it to uh, find. And obviously, we know what will happen. Um, the little math right here will come out uh, as not finding anything. Control Enter and then copy it down. So it's just this math one, so that's the only difference. But boy, that's a very clever uh, use. I saw that first from uh, Barry Houdini in uh, the Mr. Excel message board. Uh, oh, it looks like I didn't lock these. So I'm going to have to hit F4, F4, Control-Enter, double-click and send it down. And then here also, I need to lock it, F4, F4. Um, and you can look down here if you, there's another way to do this kind of lookup with VLOOKUP and is text and wildcards. But uh, there's a little bit about find and search and uh, the two main differences and a couple examples, extracting first name and a fuzzy match lookup. All right, we'll see you next trick.